Welcome to an overview of territories, which is a very powerful and fundamental concept in Impel. The accounts, the contacts, and the opportunities that you see in Impel depend on the territories that you own or have access to. So territory management is essentially an account sharing mechanism that grants users access to accounts based on the characteristics of those accounts. These characteristics could be based on geography, on revenue size, your product line, or any other factor that's relevant to your business. So essentially, you can structure Impel to reflect the way that you do business in the real world. So let's take a look at territories here. Since territory is such an important concept, only administrators can add or modify territories. Territories can be set up as a tree structure. So for example, let's take a look at a geographic tree structure. I have something here called India, which has a north and south already set up. I'm going to add a new sub-territory to this. I'm going to call it West. And this is my Western region. And the parent territory for this is India. So this is going to appear under the territory India. All right. So I now have a new territory called the West. I'm now going to add some more territories here. I'm going to add a state called Maharashtra, which is the state of Maharashtra. And the parent territory for this is the West. OK. So I'm going to add that in. And now, if I go in and do a refresh, what you will see is that I have a new sub-territory called West, which is under the territory of India. And under that, I have another sub-territory called Maharashtra. So essentially, I can set this up as a tree hierarchy, which reflects the way that my company does business. You'll see here something called the pool territory, and this is another important concept that we have in Impel. This, uh, if you look at, for example, pharma companies, they set up territories that are accessible to a pool of people or a team of people. So when you set up a territory, you could set that up as a pool territory, and multiple people would then have access to that territory. Otherwise, when you're setting up the for example, if I take this, um, let me take the new one that I just set up, the state of Maharashtra. I can edit this and say who has access to this territory. So I will assign this territory to a user called, let's pick one, Kalashekar and update that. So now only Kalashekar will have access to the, to the territory Maharashtra. Now his manager will, who owns the is the manager of the territory called West will have access to all of the sub-territories under the West. If I take, for example, North, the manager will have access to all the all the accounts that are in both Punjab and Haryana. And whoever is in charge of India will have access to all of the accounts that are in North, South, West, and whatever other territories that I may set up. So this is the tree structure that you can have access to. So what happens is if a salesperson quits, all you need to do is remove that salesperson from the territory that you have access to. And the new salesperson that comes in, you give that salesperson access to the territory. And in one or two clicks, you really have changed the whole structure of who has access to those contacts and accounts and so on within that um, territory. Another very powerful feature that we have inside of uh, Impel is the ability for uh, web to lead and SMS to lead. Now, these are forms that let you take uh, the prospects that come in on your website or through SMS and have the ability to assign them to a particular default territory. Now, this is a configuration for the web to lead. So let's say you what you can do is when the uh, leads come in on your website, you can assign them to go into a particular territory. And then that the person that has access to that territory will have access to all of the leads that come in through here. Similarly, what you can do is on your SMS configuration, the new leads that come in can be assigned to a particular default territory. 
So um, essentially, the whole concept of territories is very, very powerful. Also, if you're looking at a particular at accounts, what you can do is on a particular account, let's say we're looking at this particular account, you can reassign that to go to a different territory if you want to. As the manager, you can reassign it to a different territory. For example, right now, this is under a territory called Radha. I, as the manager, can assign it to a different territory. So this is something that the managers can do. So essentially what we are saying is that territories are a very powerful mechanism for controlling access to accounts and contacts.